Welcome back to more Over the Nexus, everybody. So in the last episode, we did uh, even more dueling. Oh yeah, surprising, right? A Yu-Gi-Oh video. Dueling in a Yu-Gi-Oh video? Okay, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna go to get cards. Because I've grinded enough. Um, well, okay, well I haven't done that enough to unlock another pack yet, but I have dueled plenty of people enough to do 10 more duels to unlock a new um, structure deck. So this is my kind of mayhem. Let's go ahead and do this. It's so ridiculous, so some people call this archetype Machina. I've heard people say Machina, I'm just like, what the fuck? Oh, oh, oh my god, there's actually one video that i see online where the, the guy literally calls him Machina. Machina Fortress. Like, do you know how stupid that- oh my god. Like, M Machina, I can kind of understand. Because you think it's the word machine. But no, the translation is actually Machina. I also know from Final Fantasy X, just saying. Anyway, Mike in the Fortress, fantastic card. Gear frame, great card. Um, yeah, good stuff in here. They have the less useful Machina Force. That thing is freaking hard to summon. It's not even that great though, for what? It's just its attack, that's it. it takes too much to summon a freaking beat stick, you know? Okay, then we got Prohibition, Infernal Reckless Summon. Dimensional Prison, I haven't done a single one of those. Time Machine, alright. That's some more new stuff right there. Pretty good, pretty good stuff. Alright, so what I'm gonna do in this episode is, I mean, there's still plenty of duelists to duel one time on screen and three or two times off screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and duel the opponents that I need to defeat. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into this card shop here. So, in post-game, just like Stardust Accelerator and Reverse of Arcadia, the card owner, or shop owners, whatever, can be dueled post-game. This is Grammy. So I'm gonna go ahead and duel you. Yeah, but that's kind of the trend of that they did with these um, World Championship games, that the uh, the shop owners, whether it's, whether it's a card shop or a dual owner shop, they are not available to duel unless it's post game so uh, we thought that was kind of odd but whatever right anyway I'm gonna duel them one time on screen twice off screen there's actually eight of them there are four here in Daemon area because there's two in the card shop in Daemon area and two in the dual owner shop in Daemon area and then there's four opponents in the stadium because there's two shops in there keep in mind that the shop from um, Crash Town, now called Satisfaction Town. The, the shop from there has actually officially moved to the stadium, and the shop from the Mountain Pass has also officially moved into the stadium. So that's why those shops are no longer accessible because they're the same ones in the stadium now. Anyway, uh, let's see what I can do here. Um, so you summon a Defender of the Magical Knight. So you have a counter. Um, well, that's kind of. Hmm. I'm gonna do Solar Recharge. I'm gonna Garoth. Whoa, Dark Bribe? That's not awful. I mean, I did end up. Whatever. I mean, you used up a card. I drew a card still at least. Obviously, it would have been better to mill two and draw two, but whatever. Alright, um, so in that case, I'm just gonna go ahead and summon Lila. I'm going to. I should probably try and get rid of your card, huh? Okay, I have a plan. I have the monster reborn. This way I can destroy your defender this turn. Because if I don't, you're gonna put that piece of shit in defense mode and I can't beat over it next turn, so... I'm also gonna be able to mill five cards during the end phase, and hopefully I can draw at least one card, preferably two, with the effect of Garoth, so we'll see. Alright, so that's that. Okay, that's mine is your counter, and now mine is this, and this time it does get destroyed. Okay. Pretty good. Let's go ahead and mill. Let's see, Lila. Um, that's all dead, dead mills. One good, oh my god, I only got one good mill, and I of course draw the freaking wolf. Are you kidding me, game? Oh my god, how come I always end up with wolf in the hand? This is some bullshit. Um, that's not worth a solemn judgment, no. It's really not, though. Okay, so you have your Magical Citadel of Endymion. I'm not gonna solemn judgment that. 
That's fine. Crusader of Endymion. Um, so that thing is going to beat over mine. I'm just going to take a risk here. See, if I get rid of all your monsters, I think it's fine. I'm going to be able to win so fast, right? I don't care if I pay 4,000 life points for that. Okay. Uh, nope. Nothing there. Another Lila. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so... I can bring it because we have Raiko, Lila, Wolf, and Garaz, but I, uh, that's on the field, so I can't really do shit with that. What I'm going to do is summon Lila, and I'm going to mill 10 cards this turn. Oh my god. It's going to be crazy. I can also get rid of it. Magical Citadel doesn't have any s spell counters, right? I don't think it does. Basically, every time you activate a spell card, a Magical Citadel gets a spell counter. And every time a spell, count, a spell card is destroyed, you get to place all of its counters on that card. Also, each time... Yeah, well, let's see. If, if you would activate... Wait, when a spell counter is destroyed... Oh, sorry, yeah. When a spell counter is destroyed, you place the spell counters on... What? Oh, sorry, when a card with a spell counter is destroyed, place- uh-huh. Once per turn, if you activate a card's effect by removing a spell counter... So I should probably get rid of it, to be honest. It doesn't have any right now, so that's actually really good for me. Because that card is actually incredibly difficult to get rid of once it starts piling up counters. It really is. It's that insane. Alright, so I'm gonna mill three with Lila. Raiko, Jane. Okay, so that's going to be two tokens on the field. And now Garoth, mill two. Lila's gonna mill three. Garoth, mill two. Are you fucking kidding me? I didn't get a single draw. Oh my god. Yeah, but my graveyard is set. Alright, so that's two Gemini Elf. Too bad I can't attack. What's interesting though is that my field is actually... Well... Oh, that, that actually really sucks. Like, really badly. Um... What I'm gonna have to do, believe it or not, is... I can't risk... Oh my freaking god. See, this is why Dandelion freaking is a piece of shit sometimes in my deck. It's a, it's a fantastic card, don't get me wrong, but... So I have to end my turn and mill 10, but I'm gonna... With that, I'm gonna lose next to following turn. I actually have to get rid of these cards. I'm just gonna freaking kill myself. I can't believe I'm doing this, but when there's no other strategy besides that, that's when you know it's just ridiculous. Yeah, I don't care. Oh, okay, you actually sent the right one that I wanted you to. Okay. Um... And that's about it for that. I'm not gonna... Well... I mean, I can... I can use... Beckoning Light. You know what? Sure. Let's do that. Let's bring out Judgment Dragon. Okay, and then what I'm going to do... Cause it, see, the problem is it's main phase 2. So even if I do... Yeah, it's not worth it. I'm just gonna mill 5 this turn. That's it. Another da okay. Luckily, dandelion is not going to activate. It cannot activate right now. And there's garage. Okay, I drew two judgment dragons. Okay. All right, so I'm going to take 1,900 damage, which is fine. It's fine. Dark Valkyria. That's okay too. I'm going to take 19. I can still pay a thousand. Because I'll beat them to 29. And I'll lose... Yeah, so that's fine. That's actually perfectly fine. I mean, the back row that I put was... Uh, should, I'll just let you destroy it. It's okay. I don't think it's worth using Necro Garden over that. Even if... I'm going to discard a card. Oh, I discarded Judgment Dragon. Well, shit. Oh, well. Alright, go ahead. 
So there goes my Lila. And now next turn I win. I'm just gonna summon Judgment Dragon, pay a thousand, and an attack. The one exception could be oh no 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 no. I'm gonna do a mystical space typhoon because if that's a freaking bottomless trap hole or a trunter tribute, I'm dead. It was a dark bribe, okay. So that's game. Alright, so that one goes for me, but it took a fair amount of time, up to 10 minutes now. That's a little ridiculous. Hmm. Alright, let's use the effect here. Pay a thousand, blow up everything. I'm down to 2750. Swing for 3000, and that's game. Alright, well. Not bad, not bad, right? I suppose. So that's Grammy down, but there are still seven more opponents left. So it's gonna take a span of the, this episode plus the next one to do to like do all these because that's just a lot of opponents, you know. All right, well there we go. That's that. Oh no, I got that. Okay, uh, this one. Oh my god, I'm getting so lucky, dude. Well, I didn't get the DP or the other one. That was crazy luck right there. All right, let's, let's see. I'm gonna go with the first one. And this one. Shit. Whatever. That's fine. Alright, so you can probably hear a bunch of sirens. I'm sure you know why. I mean, police presence is crazy everywhere in the streets right now. That's ridiculous. Makes sense, though. Um, so you're going to be hearing probably a lot of sirens because, yeah, right now it's in the evening. Which is when curfews have been set already in some cities. It's a protest. So that's why there's a bunch of police everywhere because of these freaking protests. I'm gonna go first. Alright, so this is Alina Nula. So we defeated Grammy, now Alina Nula. Let's just see. Foolish Burial, nice, nice start. Okay, um, let's do a Foolish Burial in that case, yeah. Why not? Now, it would be a good decision to summon Plague Spreader and go for a Synchro on normal circumstances, but if you pay attention, I have Celestia on my hand. So I think it actually makes more sense to not go with that play because I want to tribute Celestia next turn. For tri tribute summon, I mean. Tribute summon Celestia next turn. And so I can pop two of your cards. I think that's a smart decision. Personally. Light bear. Oh my god. Do you have freaking. You have Arcana Force. Oh my god. I hate this freaking archetype. Beca mainly because of a few monsters, mostly the Fool. That thing is such a pain in the ass, man. It seriously is. It's also because they're like luck-based archetypes, which are really garbage in real life. But in video games, it seems like they're rigged towards the AI usually. So I'm just like, damn, I have a freaking handicap, you know? Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. Um... I destroy. I think it makes the most sense to destroy that plus. The, but the thing is, that might be the fool, man. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually tribute Wolf. I'm gonna use the effect, and I'm gonna get rid of the monster plus light barrier. Okay, that was a shining angel, which is not as bad as a the fool, but it's still pretty annoying. So I'm glad I did that. Alright, everything else I can't do, okay, can't do, so I'm just gonna have to attack here and do some damage. Alright, the attacks did work, they did connect. Okay, now we're down to 3850. Let's go ahead and end a turn. So what happened with that? I can't read the other effect, dude. And base? Okay, nothing. What is this? What do you just do? Oh my god. So like when a card with monster you control, that monster's effect is not treated as the opposite coin toss result. You take your point of normal summons or sets the monster, you can spell some one or kind of force monster from your hand. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, well. 
Well, here's what I can do. If I Dark Hole, will I have four Light Twins in the graveyard? Wolf, Lila, oh fuck yeah, I just won. Because I can do Dark Hole to get four in the graveyard, then I can Special Summon Judgment Dragon and a Normal Summon a Monster, and that's going to be it. Yep. There we go. So that's Judgment Dragon coming through. Then let's go ahead and summon... You know what, I'm going to summon Honest. I don't really give Honest enough action on the field. Alright, so that's a 5 turn victory, unless you have a hand trap or something. But man, man, man. Alright, that's it. That's two duelists down. We got two more to duel in this episode, and then I'm gonna take on the next four in the next one. This is a lot of off screen dueling that I have to do. Like, I know I keep saying that every episode. But I also just haven't even found the time to like, oh great. I just haven't found the time, you know, to um to get a lot of off-screen grinding going. Like I'm busy between between my other job plus me actually recording episodes here. It's been difficult to manage this and like make enough like or have enough time, you know? Like what the heck? This is some crazy shit over here. Alright. All right, this is this is Oscar. That's actually my my real life name. Believe it or not, it actually is. Super dressed as Dark Magicians, man. What the hell? All right, this is Gladiators Award. Oh boy, this guy has a freaking Gladiator Beast deck. That's gonna be interesting. It's Light Swords versus Gladiators. I mean, if you have a really good Gladiator Beast deck, this is actually gonna be a really competitive duel. This this was the meta back in 2011. Actually, it was more so a couple years before that, like 09 to 2010. Well, no, no, actually, oh, I might be wrong about that. That sounds right though. Anyway, you put two face downs. Um, got a monster reborn. All right, I'm gonna summon. See, I want you for your back removal too in the main phase too, though, which is why I'm not gonna solar recharge you. I'm gonna do that. That did actually work. Okay, enter battle phase. Attack. Oh, wonderful. How dumb of me to do that, huh? Okay, um... I'm just gonna use the effect because... Yeah, it's... It's all good. What the fuck is that? Oh, Laquari. Gladiator beats Laquari. That can actually bring out Heraclinos. Of course, special summon by the effect of Gladiator Beast Monster. His original attack is 2100. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use the effect to pop a card. Might as well. That one. I got a dimensional pro. Oh, that's why I didn't use it, you little bastard. Okay. Um, and a turn. I get to mill three. I have Mirror Force. Hopefully, I can utilize Mirror Force. I got a Raikou in the graveyard. That's pretty good. All right, well, let's see what happens here. I don't know, man. You might pop my Mirror Force. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, Mirror Force will activate. I hope your backer was not a trap negate. Oh, man. Oh, man. But, okay, well, that's fine. I mean, you're saving one monster. That's okay. Uh, you're going minus one to save your monster, so you're not really going minus one. It's neutral, but at least use the card from the hand. And then you're flipping it in main phase two, okay. But now it's down to 1800. Okay. So as far as what I can do now... I really wish I could actually use Lila's effect again, but I can't. Um... For Monster Reborning, it's not worth it. It's really the only play I have right now, believe it or not. It's just something glow up old. and go into a play over here. I'm gonna go into Ally of Justice Cataster. Let's see if this works. It did work, okay. Um, I can do Monster Reborn, but I don't think it's worth the risk. I really don't think so. Uh, because if you have a crazy trap card, oh my god. It actually 
work? Wait, wait, wait. Negate the activation of an effect monster's effect and destroy it. Okay, well, I'm dead. Oh well, I tried. So in this case, I should have actually done the foolish burial on the wolf, but... There's no way to know these things, like what if you had a mirror force? If you had a mirror force, the foolish burial would have been a bad play. But because you didn't, now not foolish barreling is the bad play. You just gotta take your chance and some luck sometimes, you know, and... Fortunately, I'm sure you all noticed from watching my Let's Plays, I get the shit end of the stick here sometimes. Actually, a lot of the time. I gotta end the turn. I don't think it's worth... Oh my god. I have a pretty good play for next turn. And if I can draw Light Sworn, even better, because I can also use Solar Recharge efficiently. Alright, so you're setting. Um, okay, putting that too. Alright, so here's my play. First, let's draw. And do Lumina. That's actually fantastic. Okay, I'm going to start with... Um, actually... I just realized something. I'm going to summon Lumina. I'm going to use your effect. Discard Dandelion. To special summon Lila in attack mode. Oh, this is a power play here. Put Lila in attack mode. Get my two tokens from Dandelion. Look at that. And then I'm going to do this. Now, it would have been better if I had at least one spot left because I can then use the Glow Bulb to Synchro Summon, but I don't. Shrink? Okay, fine. Whatever. Okay, so that's a wolf. Lila goes into defense mode. That's fine. Enter battle phase. Alright, so Wolfling is 1,050, so that makes the most sense to attack Laquari because you can. Actually, wait, no, what did... Sorry, I totally did the math wrong. It's fine, because you don't have a card with 1,000 defense. Fuck, dude. Okay, that's not good. Alright, end of turn. So you're gonna swap out. Okay. Gladiator Beast War Chariot is back. Dude, this is why Gladiator Beast decks are freaking good. You see how they can just really easily give you advantage? Like, look at that. One high defense monster attacking into it led to this. A new monster, um, a recursion. My god, man. Now he's got three cards all out, like, all of a sudden. It's crazy. Alright, so here's Vermillo. And now this guy's literally taking forever for his fucking turn. Hurry up, dude. Fuck. Come on. I have Neko Garna, but I want you to just destroy her because that's just not gonna work out. It's really not. Can you please hurry up and destroy my Lumina? Thank you. I'm not gonna let you destroy Lumina though. I was kidding about that. I'm gonna do this. Sorry, but Lumina is much too precious. Alright, so you're gonna set. Oh, what the. Okay. Oh, that's fine. I mean, there's no spell or trap cards in the field. I don't know why you swap to that one. You could literally swap to any other. Okay, now you're doing that. Gazarus? That's why, okay. So Gazarus lets you pop two cards. Actually. So that's Lumina and Wolf gone. Oh, come on. It even lags on the targeting? Jesus Christ game. Okay, we should be able to win. Oh, no, you put a fucking base. Oh, actually, no, that's the... That's fine. You put two face downs, are you serious? Okay, well this thing is fine. It's uh let's try the end of the battle for this card attack was attack, you can Okay. So if I do this Glow a bulb. Of course we mill the Dungeon Dragon, of course. Alright. 
And then we end up doing... Because I have the Monster Reborn. Do I have a Sangan? No, but I have a Dandelion. So Dandelion's level 3. If I Monster Born into you, I can then do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I can bring out a 6. Literally a 6. That can be Goyo Guardian. Um, I can also bring out two more. And I can use the effect of... I have to take a risk here. I have to summon Lila and hope that I trigger the right card. My god, man. Alright, let's do a Monster Reborn. Um, I can also bring a Catastrophe, but see, the, the thing with that... Is that it's just not... Oh, it's a dark anyway, so it's, it, it's fine. Um, okay. I'm gonna bring out Dandelion. So I can generate some more tokens. So this is a 4... I can make a 5 or a 6. I think it makes the most sense to bring out a 6. Because I have Bryonic, but I don't have available stuff in my hand that I can just discard at ease. So I actually have to use literally everything here. So I know one of the effects for, that he has face down is the whole negating... You know what I mean. So, if this attack does not land, because you have a back row that can be problematic, I lost a duel. Wait. Negate the activation of the effect monster's effect and destroy it. Oh my god, it doesn't have to be on the field, I just realized. Okay. You know what, that's actually fine. Oh my god, that was actually fantastic, because now, to be perfectly safe, I can literally just summon Lila. Or that can happen too, I don't fucking care really. Okay, well now I know for sure. I was just gonna m make it into defense mode, that was it. But, alright. I'm attack with Goyo Guardian, so I don't have to worry about that other bullshit card, thank god. Now I can special summon you, and I did not want to do that effect, because hell no, oh, actually it's on any special summon, now. it is. Damn. But yeah, they don't want to do that, obviously, because there's no cars in the field to destroy. <coughs> okay. Let's do what you do. What, what is that, a mirror force? Probably, huh? I can only imagine. Blake's better zombie. Alright, let's go ahead and get our asses handed to us. There's a 24, 100, and then 28. Okay, maybe it's a good trap, but he's saving on the strongest monster. Like a dimensional prison. Or a Sakuretsu, or a widespread ruin. It actually was not. Yeah, notice that these post-game duelists, for the most part, they don't actually... Their decks are shittier than, like, story duelists. Which is odd, because usually post-game is harder, you know? Put a defense mode. Um, sadly, there really isn't. Ah, uh, no, that's not what I wanted. The top deck. I needed a monster that can work with synchro, but that's not going to work because these are both sixes. So if the card that you have face down can't do anything, or does something, I mean, I, I worded that wrong. What the fuck is that? When this card is special summoned by... Don't even do it. Just just swing for your 24 and that's it. Oh my god. Are you serious, dude? You're just freaking stalling, man. Like, seriously. Dude. This is ridiculous. Okay, now I used up everything again. Down to nothing. Man, this guy's hard. If you don't have a formidable deck like mine, you could get wiped out so fast. This guy has a really good Gladiator Beast deck. Okay, please be over. No more bullshit, please. Okay. Here we go. Draw. Another Solar Recharge. That's a dead draw. Okay. Attack. 
and... Okay, it worked. Perfect timing, because now I'm at 30 minutes, but now I'm behind, because I can't do five duels in one video. There's no way. Not in Over the Nexus. The game is way too slow for me, but it, for me to be able to do that. Well, whatever. Um, if you... Oh, God. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, nothing there. It's fine. Alright, so if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, and as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.